Hello everyone, it's Danielle here. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Christmas season. I'm here today to show a flip through of this last binder journal. Um, I will be doing a flip through of, an, of the, um, the journal with the greeting card um, with the little baby on the front because somebody did request that as well as this one. And for both of those, if either of them decide they don't want, wish to purchase them, I will let you know and they will be open to everyone in my shop. But I know this can be kind of a fun thing to watch flip throughs and get inspiration and whatnot. So I wanted to, and then also to show the customer their product. Um, this was made from a vintage greeting card on the front and a vintage uh, cookbook binder. And I just did some collaging. There's a little applique here and some stickers and then some fabric on the spine. And then we'll go in here to the front page and I have a whole bunch of stuff tucked in this front pocket. Um, I've got a printable image that I thought would be a great for her to fussy cut out if she wanted um, that Santa. And then a vintage tally. The KB and Friends printable, the telegram. This is an image from a vintage magazine. A little postage label. I know this particular customer has um, a grandson and then she likes vintage photos. So I thought this was really cute because a lot of people do um, photos of their children, like professional photos at the Christmas time. So I thought this would be cute maybe if she wanted to create it into a journaling card or tuck spot or whatnot. And then this is just a little recipe booklet. If you saw my previous video, you know that this journal is less, um, I guess there's some children themed images in here, but there's also a lot of vintage advertisements and cookbook images or, or cooking images from magazines and whatnot. She wanted a lot of postcards, vintage postcards and advertisements. So I tried to do the best that I could. There's a mixture of authentic vintage magazine advertisements and um, cook like recipes and as well as printable. So, and there's a little shaker pocket in the front here like I've been doing in a lot of my journals this year. And then there's a vintage postcard here with a, a Santa, super cute, just a little printable image tucked here and a vintage price ticket. And this is a printable price ticket. And then I just, uh, this is a printable image with some stickles that can be used as a journaling card or a tuck spot and a vintage ledger with uh, vintage coasters just for decoration. This is some vintage wrapping paper and a vintage postalette, just kind of tucked in there, and a little gingerbread man with some stickles. Lots and lots and lots of things paper clipped in. So if she wanted to take everything out, it, there would be a ton of room. This is a tuck, this is a pocket here. And then a little holiday baking advertisement for, looks like McCormick brand goodies. And then a little advertisement for Dexo on the back and a vintage postcard tucked in here. And then this is a vintage price ticket. Another vintage postcard and a printable image. This is from a recipe book. So it's a holiday recipe book with different um, recipes and an eggnog milk cap there. Here's a vintage ad for um, flour, it looks like. Yeah, Betty. well, Betty Crocker different different Betty Crocker ingredients. There's some green sparkle paper tucked in here um, just for photo mats or if you want to make your own journaling card. Some Hallmark smaller sized stationery and a vintage Royal vacuum advertisement. 
with the holly. The other part of this ad is in here in this journal in a later point. And then a Pepsi ad. I will link all of the printable images that I've used. Um, just like I have in the other videos, there'll be a list of any shop that I used that had printable images. Here's that Roy the rest of the Royal advertisement. And this is a vintage um, name name tag, but it was it was originally a card version, and I think it was separated or and now I used to have a bunch of these and this is my very last one. So I thought that looked cute because um, this printable, this ad, they have some yellow in there. So I thought that was a good time to use that. And some more advertisements and vintage postcard and stationery. Some things tucked here. This is a vintage recipe little blurb from a magazine and then this was from the Target dollar spot this year these little note cards that I thought were really cute if you wanted to cut this and make it into a tuck spot it would be the perfect little tuck spot and then a vintage playing card um, postcard and some more of that sparkle glitter green glitter paper I think that this is an AI image I'm pretty sure if this was a printable. It'll be in the list because I I don't remember where what the name of the shop was, but I'm pretty sure as I'm learning, this may be an AI image. So if that bothers you, I don't I don't know. It doesn't bother me. This is a tuck spot um, that can be like if you wanted to tuck a photo in here, like journal and then tuck a photo or tickets or whatever you'd like to do. And then this is from a vintage magazine as well. Some stationery, another ad, playing card, postcard, some of the continuous feed. Um, I think it's like top matrix paper, something like that. Another playing card and telegram. This was an advertisement um, to, for subscriptions for Better Homes and Garden and it was holiday themed. And another advertisement, and this is a printable image. I did print it on uh, semi-gloss paper. I don't know if you can tell. So it has the consistency of a magazine paper. And then some saving stamps. These are not all the way attached. So how I've been using these is if you kind of pull up and then gently tug, they'll come loose so you can use them in blocks. As you can see just if you want to keep collaging or turn those into a journaling card or anything like that this I think is another AI image <clears throat> but it's super cute and this is from a magazine of sorts and another little tuck spot here And then this was, both of these were from the same ad. I had to kind of cut them apart to use them um, because it was from an oversized magazine, but it's for some coffee. And here's Santa drinking some coffee by the fireplace. So just made a journaling tag and a tuck spot out of that. And here's a phone vintage postcard. Another postcard, another postcard ginger ale this is a printable image this one's from I think it's from pink paper peppermints and a vintage price ticket and then this was from a magazine it's like um I think it might have been a cinnamon roll tree or something like that but I just fussy cut and backed it onto some cardstock so you could use that as either a tuck spot or a journaling space and then this flips open, another vintage postcard here, another here, and vintage stationery. This has some glitter glue on it, and then another vintage postcard and an advertisement. This, I think this was from a child craft book, if I remember correctly, a vintage children's book, and it's got some 
little poems about Santa Claus, Jingle Bells, and a Christmas song. This is a vintage greeting card and a vintage postage stamp. Just some collaging here. There's some vintage stationery. I just tucked this in here. Um, if you want to make this into a pocket, you could, or you could do journaling on the inside here. Another printable with some glitter glue and collaging. <clears throat> Another one of those Christmas gift order forms for a magazine article. Advertisement for 7-Up and a vintage price ticket. And then a vintage, crisp, or not vintage, <laughs> a Christmas tree paperclip here. There's a little gift certificate for one cent and some saving stamps. And this is a vintage seal down here. This is just a an image from a magazine of some Christmas punch and I put some music paper on the back. And this is a Nestle ad. Again, this is a printable. A vintage greeting card and a vintage apple cider cap. This is an envelope. I did a collage here. And there's some things tucked inside that envelope. Another vintage postcard. And again here with a little collage. Um, this was in a, a pattern. There was some kind of pattern in here. I think it it's for this art text. Um, I think that you would iron it on and paint whatever you ironed on. It would act as like a little stencil to trace. And just vintage magazine image here. I think some of them I put something on the back and some of them I didn't. This could either be a large journaling tag or you could tack it down and make it into a tuck spot. And then this is, these are printables and this is a vintage wrapping paper here. And a vintage playing card and postcard. Some stationery and some Santa stationery with a little journaling card all paper clipped in. This is another printable ad and a um, Christmas greeting card vintage. This one's not signed and it's one that opens up into four. So, oh, it is signed here on the back. I didn't see that, but it is signed on the back there. Beautiful greeting card and a vintage milk cap. And this was advertising some fabric and let's see if I can show you somewhere maybe let's see I know it was in here somewhere in here is the other half of that advertise advertisement I think But there are two girls, probably, I was thinking probably sisters, and they were making, yep, right here. They're making <laughs> popcorn. It looked like, I couldn't quite figure it out. I just wanted to show you guys this because I thought it was funny. Um, if I try to line it up here, I think it was probably like that approximately. And it, I couldn't figure out if they were trying to pop the popcorn with the fireplace or if they were just sitting in front of the fireplace with the popcorn basket, but they were making popcorn garland here. And you can see the, the fireplace is decorated for Christmas and some, you know, interesting pajamas. <laughs> very, very mid-century-ish, but um, yeah, I kind of got a giggle because I was, I was thinking... For sure they cannot be popping the popcorn in front of, I think they're just making the garland in the fireplace, in front of the fireplace to stay warm probably. Um, but anyway, there's two of those <laughs> journaling cards in this journal. I think this one was here. I thought those were really cute. And then this is a vintage ad. It looks like they're advertising like the Better Homes and Garden um, gardening book. 
but then there's other gardening there's other books so I don't remember what this ad was for it looks like they're in a bookstore at Christmas time because you can see the Christmas tree and the wreath so it's kind of fun and then this is from a vintage magazine and it's um it says he'll want a botany robe brought botany brand robe too in warmth without weight fabrics they're $17.50 and up and then I just tucked some other little postcards in here another printable image and some extra cardstock I do always send a little goodie pack with my journals not that there's much room in here but um so that if you want to take things out and don't like something you want to put something else in like I said a ton of things are paper clipped in so if you want to do your own thing there's plenty of space for that um, and then in the back here I just have lots of different stuff tucked in there's a little shaker pocket again I did leave the side of this one I did leave it open on both the front and the back so that you have you're less constricted as far as placing things in there. So there's some of that sparkly paper. Just another little cutoff. Another cutoff here. And then there's a printable image with some stickles. That could be another pocket somewhere in the journal if you'd like. And another printable with stickles that could be a journaling card or a tuck spot. This is a cut apart from the paper line and another vintage greeting card it opens into four i don't believe this one's signed no so that's tucked in here and some more stationery and another little printable so lots of room to kind of customize it i'm not exactly sure what what she wants to use this one for but um, I think she has plenty of room for versatility and if, like I said, if she decides she does not, I will tie some, um, vintage gift tie around this as well. And if she decides she does not want this, I will let you guys know and it'll be in my Etsy shop for anyone to grab. And I hope, like I said, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna, I'm, <laughs> my life has been a little weird the last few days but um I'm going to be finishing up the other well it's pretty much finished I just have to do some finishing touches and do the video and I'll show you guys that and then and I'll tell you in the next video too um this I think I was going to see if there were any journals left over this year but you guys have been so awesome and purchased them all um so I need to make one for myself and I think I'm going to make this one <clears throat> simply because I think this is one my mom found thrifting for me and also um I had I think I had I had this in my stash I think I must have been going to do this last year and just didn't but um I figured it's already you know this way done and I can just add the pages in I don't have the full story but that's okay um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll do some of this process on video and also the journaling part on video. So stay tuned for that if, if you like to see other people working in their personal journals. And let's see what else. Oh, and also this one I thought once I saw that I, oh, I already have it put together. It has two girls and I have two girls. They're, one is younger than this. I have two and five. She's almost six, but um, just turned two and about to turn six. So, but two girls. And so I thought, oh, this will be perfect. Anyway, if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. Um, and like I said, the next video, I'll show you a flip through of the baby greeting card. And then we'll move on to this. And then we'll move on to something new for the new year. Hope you all are well. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.